Over the years on my channel, I have definitely tried on my fair share of jeans. Like, I would guess probably hundreds at this point. That might be exaggerating, but pretty close. And over time, I have definitely noticed a lot of you leaving comments of your favorite pairs of jeans. So I thought it might be fun to kind of dig through the comments, see the sort of most commonly suggested pairs of jeans and order them for myself and try them out. I thought that this would be a fun little spin where you all can pick the pairs of jeans that I try on in videos, because usually I pick them. So I ordered four different pairs of jeans. I have a pair from Gap, a pair from Madewell, a pair from ASOS, and a pair from Eloquii. So these were kind of the most commonly requested jeans. If you want to see me do more of these and make this a series, definitely let me know in the comments below. I think this will be really fun. So let's go ahead and jump in and try on your favorite pairs of jeans. All right, the first one we're going to try out is called the Gap High Rise Cheeky Jean. And I'm very confused about the Gap versus Old Navy thing because they're under the same website, but Gap is like more expensive than Old Navy, but they're made by the same people and they're sold on the same website, but they're under different names and they're different different prices. I don't know. I'm very confused by that. I recently went into Old Navy stores and tried on a lot of their new sizing and kind of tested it out for you as someone who's a size 16 and hasn't often been able to always like find options in my size in store. So I'll link that up here, 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 in case you want to check that out. So I'm curious to see how these will differ from the Old Navy jeans, but I got these in a size 33 regular, which translates to a size 16, and they were $69.95, so pretty expensive. And here they are, okay. Hmm, I don't know how they would be super cheeky compared to other jeans, but there is a button fly. I do like the wash on them. They do have a little tiny, tiny bit of stretch, but they give the appearance of like a classic rigid denim. It seems like they're sort of straight leg, maybe slightly tapered at the end. So we're gonna see what these look like. All right, so far they feel kind of tight. Oh, oh no, okay. Oh boy, okay, you know what, actually, they're not that bad, they're just, I would say they run slightly small. Here's what they look like. So this is kind of a general overview. I actually do think they look really good, but this pair of jeans in particular fits me so, so weird. I don't know if I've really experienced this before, but the gap in the back here is like the biggest it's ever been. Like it's literally just like hanging down right here. Yet it's like really tight on the stomach right here. And I know that a part of that is just because of like the proportions of my body. I do have a bigger belly for my size, but it's just, if it's fitting me very fucking weird and it's making me feel strange like I've never actually had a pair like almost sag off of my back like this so I don't know if that's part of like the cheeky thing but here is what the cheeks look like so I mean pretty cute it is very tight around the back of my butt and like the back of my thighs so I don't know if that's like again part of what they're trying to go for with this but it just I feel like all of the proportions are off for my body type. And I don't even have a butt, really, but it feels super tight on my butt. I don't think I would be able to sit down in these. In fact, like this is as far as I can go. Like I really, for safety reasons, I can't really go any further than this. I feel like if you had maybe just a super straight sized body, do you know what I mean? Like your body just kind of was like this. I think that these would be a good option for you, but for me, it, this is not it. For some pros though, I really do love where it cuts off at the ankle. I think that that's really, really cute. You could look super cute in sandals with these, boots, sneakers. It's very versatile in that way. I also really do love the wash, but I do have to deduct points for the lack of high rise. Like I'm trying so hard to pull these up. And then this weird waist gap in the back. Like, can you, I don't know if you can physically see that, but there's like a shadow. Like I've never had it gap this bad before. I don't know if gap is trying to live up to their name or what's going on here, but these are just not the right jeans for me. And that's not to say that they're not going to be the right jeans for you, but for me, I'm not loving it. All of these jeans that are gonna be available, I'll link down in the description box below for you in case you wanna check them out, see for yourself. But these, I would have to say if I was gonna rate them out of 10, I would give them like a four. Like a four for me, I'm sorry. That's what I think is so cool about making these videos and reading your comments over the years though, is learning how different styles and tastes we all have and body types and what works really amazing for some of us does not work for others. And it's just fascinating. I think it's really cool when you find a pair of jeans that you really love. So I am not knocking it whatsoever for those of you who suggested these, but they're just not 
for me, so we gotta move on, because my stomach's starting to hurt. Next, we're gonna try the pair that I'm most excited about, and these are from ASOS. I've actually had pretty decent luck with ASOS jeans. A lot of you commented about these jeans, but also a lot of you tagged me on TikTok. There were a couple TikToks going around of people trying on these jeans, and these are called the ASOS Curve Relaxed Dad Jean, if I'm not mistaken. And they are originally $35, but I got them on sale for $27. And because they are the ASOS Curve line, which is like their plus size line, I did size down in these. So I believe I got these in a plus size 14, which usually works for me. So this is gonna be trial and error, we'll see. I love the wash of these. I love the way these look. They really do look like a dad jean. And they are very much like that kind of 90s baggy jean that I have been looking for. They are very wide leg, but I know a lot of you, when I have been talking about looking for the perfect wide leg jean, have recommended these. So let's see. Oh my God, I'm so happy to take these off. Those are getting returned right away. Okay, ASOS, you don't usually let me down, so let's do this. So far, really, really loose going on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Gotta tuck it in. I, I mean, I, hold on. I think I did it. I think I found the pair of jeans that I have been looking for this entire time. Hold up. These are pretty damn near perfect. Like the waist is tight, but not too tight to where I feel like I'm dying. It's like slightly tight around the butt to where it flatters the butt, but it's also super wide leg in the thigh, but not too wide leg to where they look like Jenkos. The length is actually a good length for me as well. And I actually kind of like that it's not tapered at the end. Like it is more straight leg or it, I guess it matches the others. I don't like, do you see that? I have to get a pair of shoes and see what this looks like. Hold on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I think I just found my new favorite pair of jeans. Like not my everyday pair of jeans, but like wear a cute little pair of heels with like a tucked in blouse, t-shirt, one shoulder top, crop top type of thing. These are, I think, exactly what I've been looking for. Like they just tick every single box. The only reason that I didn't try these sooner is because every single time, I tried to make this video several times by the way, but every single time somebody would suggest a pair of jeans, either A, they wouldn't come in my size so I couldn't order them, or B, they were completely sold out. So I just happened to get lucky and find this pair and I actually love them so much. I think these are gonna be perfect for a pair of baggy jeans that I've been looking for because I have tried many pairs in the past. There's been a lot of trial and error and I think these are the closest to perfect that I could probably get. Wow, wowie wow, I am so happy about these. I could not be happier. Next up, we are gonna try a pair of jeans from Eloqui, which is a plus size brand. I believe they start at a size 14, and a lot of you recommended their wide leg jeans. And recently they released a line under their brand called Elements, which I believe is like a more affordable brand, and they do carry some of these pieces at Walmart. However, they were sold out when I looked at Walmart, so I went on their website and I I found this pair. This is called the Eloqui Elements Wide Leg Jean, and these have a waist tie, which I think is interesting. These are very outside of my comfort zone. They're not really my style at all, but that's kind of the point of this video, right? Is like trying new things, trying what you all love. These are also really affordable, much like this last pair. They are $30, so okay. Upon first inspection, Interesting, very wide leg. It also doesn't look like the belt or like the waist tie is removable at all, which I think is tragic, but I suppose if I tried hard enough, I could get like a little seam ripper and take it out, but this is what it looks like. It doesn't have like the traditional pockets on the butt. These are almost giving like work slacks or like linen pants, but in a denim version, if you know what I'm talking about. So I don't know, we'll see. They do seem high-waisted. They are a dark wash, which honestly, Honestly, like, I think I have one or two dark pairs of jeans. I don't really gravitate towards them that much, and that's why I wanted to try these. Like, we're stepping outside of our comfort zone, we're seeing what's up. So I'm going to undo this tie. I just don't understand this, but, like, listen, if you do, 
please let me know why. These are also in a size 14, by the way, because again, with plus size brands, I typically do have to size down. If I'm wearing a straight size pair of jeans, I usually am a 16, but if I'm wearing a plus size pair of jeans, I'm usually a 14. Does that make sense? I was completely surprised by this last pair, so let's see how this pair goes. Okay, they feel very comfortable so far. Okay, they honestly went on like butter. They fit amazing, if not just ever so slightly big, but I'm fine with that. And we'll go ahead and tie the little waist thing here. I actually think I kind of love these. I'm being 100% real with you right now. I ordered these as sort of like a, let's try it out and I'm probably gonna hate them, but we'll have a laugh about it. I'm not laughing. These are really cute. They're extremely stretchy. It does not even feel like I'm wearing jeans right now. I'm being dead serious. I'm sure that they make versions of these jeans without the waist tie, but I just couldn't find any. This was the only pair that was available and these are kind of it. I totally see what you all were talking about. I see the hype. I can deal with the butt pockets, honestly. This makes me feel like a cute little 70s queen. Like I really want to wear a striped top and like some colored aviator glasses with these. I think these are going to be really fun to play around with for fall and winter and honestly I really love the way that they look with this top as well. I tried to find a top that would go with like a lot of different styles of jeans for this video and I am unexpectedly in love with these. I can go all the way down. I know we love when I do a little squat test. It's absolutely so comfortable. Like I could just sit down cross-legged right now and have a picnic. So comfy, so stretchy, long enough for me because I am pretty tall. I'm like 5'8 or 5'9. I don't really have any negative things to say about these. These are definitely the underdog for sure. Like no one saw this coming, at least I didn't. If I had to dock points about anything, it would just be that these back pocket thingies that don't even actually, there's like a seam in between them. They don't even actually open all the way. They're not my favorite, but I'm kind of shook if you couldn't tell. I was fully ready to be like, love this journey for you. It's just absolutely not for me. And now I'm like, no, no, no. We're right here side by side together on this journey. Like I love it as well. So it just this goes to show, like, honestly, keep an open mind. Try things that are outside of your comfort zone when it comes to style, cut, wash, etc. Because this is absolutely none of the things that I would look for in a pair of jeans, and I love them. Who knew? Last but not least, we are going to try a pair from Madewell, which this was another thing, much like the ASOS jeans that I talked about, where every time I tried to order these, they were sold out. I did manage to find them in a tall version. So here is what they look like. They're called the Perfect Vintage Jean. I got these in a size 33 tall, and they do feel stretchy, which I am not mad about because this wash is really cute. I love that it has some rips. I love this hem at the bottom. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I just love a raw hem. Like, I don't know why that just looks so cute. And honestly, these like just feeling them, they really do feel like they're kind of already broken in. And I love that feeling. They are also fair trade certified. I just noticed here on this tag. And these are the most expensive of the bunch. They run for $78.80, or at least that's the price that I got them for. Madewell is not cheap at all. Like everyone knows that. They oftentimes run out of sizes really quickly. But when you find a good thing from Madewell, well, like you can use it forever. It lasts forever. Madewell sizes do run slightly large, so I'm hoping that these are gonna fit and that I don't have to size down to a 32. I just kind of now thought about that, but um, we'll see. Let's end this on a good note. I already love the look of them, but who knows how they're gonna fit, so let's try them on. I need to uh, take off my waistband here. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna be removing this. Okay, here we go. Perfect vintage jean. Yes, please. They already feel amazing going on. Oh my god. They actually might be too big. Oh no. Oh, so close. Okay, listen. I'm gonna just take off points for myself because I really should have sized down to a 32, but honestly, I think that a 33 was all they had available. So that's fine. Honestly, that's fine. I'm going to just pretend that the sizing is right because that's my bad for getting the sizing correctly. But putting that aside, the first thing I noticed is how 
insanely high waisted these are which I love the bottom of my boobs no lie is like right here and then the jeans are here so like this is an ideal situation for me <laughs> the wash is so pretty I love the way they fit I actually really do love the tall length on me I think it goes to a perfect spot on my ankle even if I had the regular length I would still love it but I really do like that the only thing is I don't know if this is supposed to be at my knee they do look really really cute they're borderline like a skinny pair of jeans honestly I have like pretty thick calves so I don't know if like that's why it's looking that way but the fit does need some adjustment like it's too big on the waist it's too big in the stomach there's a gap in the back and then it's like slightly big right here in the front but if I size down to a 32 I think pretty much all of those things would be fixed but otherwise like this pair of jeans I could just like wriggle it down I'd be scared to keep these and then like wear them for a couple hours and have them be falling off you know but the quality of these like knocks all the other ones out of the park by far it's just very very soft super stretchy material like honestly these are the perfect vintage jeans even though they're not vintage at all if you are someone who is still loving to wear skinny jeans but maybe want to start branching into like a straight leg or a wide leg or whatever and you don't want to go too far from your love of skinny jeans these are a great option they are the priciest but to me they do feel the highest quality so that is kind of one of the things with Madewell is that yeah you're gonna be paying more but you're also gonna be getting more as a result if that makes sense so I love these if I had to rate all of my favorites in order I would say the ASOS pair is my first favorite honestly I would say Eloquy is a close second then these would be number three and then Gap like way down there I mean number four but like way down there this is honestly so much fun thank you so much for sharing all of your favorite jeans with me i've had such a blast it's like i was playing dress up with you so order them check them out if you want to and see what fits you and what makes you feel good but i think i will definitely be keeping the asos and the eloquy pair these i might exchange for a smaller pair and then the gap ones are definitely going back like definitely going back. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Like I said before, if you want to see me try this again and maybe try on more of your favorite pairs of jeans, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to keep doing this. I thought this was such a blast to do. Depending on if these jeans are still available, I'll of course link them down in the description box below. But I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for suggesting all these jeans. Thank you for being here with me on your journey on the internet today and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!